Hello everybody. So today I will talk about algebra. The topic today is about the summations. So now I will show you how to answer. We have this one in here. So we know that about a n minus one, we can put into a n minus number two plus two n minus one because if we need to minus number one in here. This one should add negative number one. This one should add negative number one. So that should be like this. And we know that a n minus one equal to a n minus number two plus two multiplied by n minus one. And a n minus two, they will do similar for a n minus number three plus two n minus number two plus two n minus number one, and so on. So the process they keep repeat many times until we have a zero plus this one is about number two multiplied by number one, two multiplied by number two, and so on. So we have number two, number two, number two, number two, and number two. We can do about factorization. And we have one plus two, and so on, until n minus two plus n minus one plus n. We know that we have the formula in here. So we put this one to replace the series in here. So we have a n equal to a zero plus n multiplied by n minus one. And uh, a zero, we know that this is about zero in here. And we have n multiplied by n minus one. And this is about the closed form of solution. The next one, the question they want to find the closed form of summations. So that's it about this one in here. So this one is about the series. So we can write about the summation. And I will put about i equal to number one. And we put i in here until n because the first number begin is about one and the last number is about n that's why i need to put i so one two three four five until n in here 
and this is about the summation This is the end. Thank you for watching.